before we get started, uh, I just wanted to acknowledge that uh, in this build that I did previously, I left a dock here with a couple of boats, and we caught a trader and a llama. And now this llama doesn't know what to do. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is Douglas now. Uh, I just want you guys to be aware of Douglas and appreciate him. And that's also Douglas, and that's also Douglas. So these these are the Douglai. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, hello everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. Today, we're going to be modernizing this house that I built last time. Uh, this is actually the house that I grew up in, so it has some uh, some sentimental value to me. It's, it is an old house. It was built in, I think, the 70s, so it's not exactly fancy, and definitely uh, has not held up to the trends uh, that go along with the March of Time. So today we're going to be turning this into a beautiful modern house. But because this is uh, a personal build for me, I don't want to build over top of this. I don't want to remove things from this world. I want to add things to this world. So we are not going to be transforming this build. We are going to be transforming this build. Uh, I built, built another one right next to it. It is identical in every way other than being mirrored, obviously. So that's the one we're going to be working on today. Let's get started. All right, now the first step in making a modern house is you can't have any wood planks on your house. Like, what are you, crazy? It's gotta be white. If it's gonna be modern, it's gotta be white. So let's make this white here. All we gotta do is replace all of our spruce planks with some white, white concrete, there it is. Boom, white house. <laughs> uh, I, I, that looks terrible. <laughs> That's okay, we're not done yet. Uh, the second step is no peaked roofs. You can't have this. You gotta have a flat roof because all the cool people have flat roofs. So I will go through and I am going to eliminate all of our roofs because we're gonna be changing them all. All right, we bulldozed our roof off and we now just have a white chunk of concrete. So what I am going to do now is just even this front part out. And we're gonna start by just making this flat on this level here so that it sits nicely onto there. And I'm just going to bring it all the way back, uh, back to this other part of the house there like that. And I'm just going to fill that in. All right, next step, we wanna have a little bit of uh, texture and three dimensions and uh, and some geometry. So I'm just going to bring this one out here, one more block like that, so that we have sort of an L shape going across the top. And then we're going to come over here and we're actually gonna do the same thing on this side, but we're going to go the other way. We're gonna come this way, just like that. And we're gonna go one off the edge so that we sort of have two L's like so. With that done, next we're gonna come back over here to the living room and we're just going to fill in around here so that we have a roof going over top of the living room at the same level as the roof over there. And we're gonna take this ledge here and we're just gonna bring it out one block over on that side. And while we're here, we're actually just gonna knock these out and make these white as well. Might look a little strange on the inside, but um, eh, it'll work. Uh, so the next thing to do is to make the balconies because you can't have a modern house without a balcony. Everybody loves balconies. So we are actually gonna make this whole thing a balcony. And I have an idea because I wanna do a balcony that comes out from here. I want to be able to walk in from here straight out onto the roof. And over here, we're actually gonna add another door off of the master bedroom. Uh, where exactly I'm going to do that, I have not figured out yet. But it'll be somewhere in here. So if we break that off, um, sure, let's do it right here. Let's do it right here. Uh, we'll put the door right there. We're actually going to knock all this out because of reasons that you'll see in a bit. So for a balcony, we now need to have a railing. And of course, for your railing, it's going to be glass because glass is modern and sleek. So we'll just take our glass glass panes and uh, just uh, scooch them like this all the way around the perimeter. Okay, now that's done. And over here, I actually brought 
the uh, the floor completely over. Remember, this used to be open, so you could see downstairs. Uh, I've eliminated that because uh, it just it didn't really work with three blocks wide. In reality, it would be really cool to be able to still be able to see down there. Uh, but for Minecraft, it just doesn't really work with the layout of this. So we're just going to fill it in like that. And I'm going to make this thing completely glass. And then we're going to put a door in there just like so. And over here, we are actually going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to eliminate this all the way around. And whoops, we're going to fill it with glass. And put a door in just like that. Because this is a modern house. you got to have glass. More glass, more better. We just got to fill it completely up. And I think that's looking good. Um, the only thing that's left now is, one, I got to fix the deck because that's wrong. Um, also, I'm looking at this and I, it, there's no color. It needs color. So um, I got to figure out how to do that. I think what I'm going to start with is just some gray because gray is also cool white gray and black that's what you want when you're building a modern house you can't just like, go throwing sorry i put the canadian gray it doesn't know that one uh light gray that's the one i want uh, was i saying all oh, right when you're building a modern house you can't just go throwing colors in there like some kind of madman you gotta have uh some monochrome everything is monochrome now that's you want to be cool get yourself some gray and some white so i'm just going to go and start filling in the accents with some light gray concrete like this and we'll see how this one looks pretty soon here how does that look i think that's okay i think if i yeah i'm gonna have to continue that back and uh <laughs> definitely yeah i'll uh, i'll bring that back and maybe do some more up on the top and then we'll see how that looks all right, so I finished putting in the gray here. I made the all the walking surfaces this light gray concrete. I made the whole roof light gray concrete, and I just sort of brought it all the way around, just like that. And so we're still looking, still looking a little bland on that side, uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. On this side, I also uh, I started building these feature walls because I thought they looked pretty cool, just with some uh, acacia wood planks. I got one there. I got a matching one there. And then after I built that, um, it looked a little strange with it only on the top. So I ditched the sandstone columns and I made these acacia planks as well. And uh, oh, the chimney is also uh, like gray concrete instead of sandstone. So I think that's looking a lot better. I mean, compared to that, like <laughs> that is a uh, that is quite the transformation. This is a very different house now. Um, I'm looking at this garage door. Maybe we should do something with that. Uh, I don't know. Let's think on it. Okay, let's come to the back. I think we should do something back here as well. Um, I'm not sure what though. Maybe we'll build... We should build something out of here just to match uh, everything else. So we'll do something, something like that that we can build our deck off of. I think that looks nice. Um, yeah, we can fill the, yeah, let's do that. Let's fill these, fill this wall in here with our acacia, just to balance everything else a little, everything out a little bit. Uh, I think that's looking all right. It's looking all right. Now it is a little bit frumpy because, I mean, we're still starting with the bones of a 40 year old house, uh, almost 50 year old house. So it's, uh. The proportions are a little bit strange, <laughs> but I, I don't want to change it too much. I want to, I really wanted it to be, you know, if I started with this and I had to just change stuff, what could I get to? And I think it's, uh, given those guidelines, I think it's working pretty well. I do like the way this is looking. Uh, if we, uh, if we go down the side here, hmm, well, maybe we can, yeah, we can do another, uh, another one of these like that and then maybe we'll just take this back so that it joins up to it like that yes there we go uh do we want to bring it all the way around sure why not let's bring it all the way around and see what it looks like all right all right all right i'm liking it i'm liking it i'll keep the stripe the stripe is good um i feel like maybe oh, let's try this just above the windows that one and that one we do that how does that look hmm? maybe maybe 
Maybe we come in here. A little stripe. Maybe? No? That's kind of ugly. I like this one. I don't like these ones. Leave it like that. I like that. That's okay. And with that, we are done. We have fully transformed our standard house into a modern house. And I haven't actually done too much to it other than just changing materials. I think the changing the roof was the biggest thing we did. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's done. And um, it's not horrible. I don't hate it. Tell me what you think down in the comments. If you think it's ugly, don't tell me because I don't want to hear that. Just tell me nice things. Be nice in the comments. All right? <laughs> okay. Well, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Why don't you hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, my schedule is a little off right now. Uh, I won't be able to make a video every week like I have been in the past. Uh, but I will be continuing, continuing to put out videos. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Yeah.